Zum Kotzen. Next. George, but yeah, I'm not really. I am. I cannot. I have my. I. I don't have any papers. I cannot prove that I am this person, and this is just a person. We have but, in yeah. here. I am the one you are looking for. Yeah, yeah I know because I see pictures yeah, I see. of you somewhere in between these papers. So the thing is that we are waiting for a translator, yeah. but as you speak English. So do I. If you want, we can try to do, no to do it by ourselves. Yeah? Yes? Sure. Okay. I would like to have one witness, witness with me. Yes. Yes? And um, a second one on the place also. You are probably the doctor. Yes. 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 Uh, so forensic doctor in this case, a yeah. forensic psychiatrist. If I understood it right, I am here, so you can find out if I am capable of being in front of a judge and More being being, being uh, taking responsibility for yes. my own deeds. That's it. Um, as far as I know, I think. That Papers that something happened with the. Um, Nothing was. Yes. <laughs> of, the, of, of your car. Yeah. Okay. And um, in here there is one uh, report from a doctor in yeah. Cap de Peras, yeah. uh, which is Francisco Javier. Yeah, I remember. You know it. Physical uh, examination? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, um, he, he says that you have in the past a burnout. Yeah, syndrome. that's what I told him. Yeah. Okay. And uh, basically, what I need to know first is if, if you are sick, if you have any condition, physical or psychiatrical conditions, nothing if you are taking treatment. Years. Nothing. Nothing since? Nothing since 10 years. 10 years ago. What did you, the, the burnout syndrome? That was when I had the burnout, depressions borderline, all that kind of stuff that came from my way of life before. And then I took medication for two weeks. And then I set it off again because I said, this doesn't really happen, I have to reconstruct my, my mind. That happened 10 years ten ago? 10 years ago. So since then? Nothing. Nothing. You've been living those 10 years here in Spain? No. Um, I came to Mallorca... Uh, last August, uh, last August of last year. So one year. Ago. One year ago. Hmm? Oh. Okay. The um, Right now, I don't live anywhere. <laughs> That's the problem. Before my home was taken, uh, my, my, my yeah, okay. 
Um, I was living in the van for three years, all over Europe. Mm -hmm. That's why I have these matriculas. Okay. And um, since five years without um, a, how do you call this? A, Without an address, without being in home or yeah, somewhere. No yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm on, on the road. I'm just, you know, I'm a I'm traveler. Okay. And, um, yeah, since three years I live in the van. Since October, uh, since August last year, I'm here on Mallorca. Since August this year, I live wherever I can. There with friends, there with friends. And um, uh, when you uh, when you were living in your in your in your in your van, um, what about the food, eating, cleaning yourself? What did you? Uh, this is um, well, uh, living <laughs> two months in Calavacus. I didn't really need a shower. I was it was really amazing to see that even after eight weeks you don't stink when you can go into the water three times a day. Um, but friends. Friends and then I um, have this is what I do. I, I, I work public. I, I'm an artist and I do YouTube videos for seven years now, so many people know me and I do arts. I draw papers, uh, draw, draw pictures, paintings, I do tattoos and this is for getting some money for these projects that I live and um, this is for gasoline and food. Okay. You always have to work as an artist? Yeah. You have you have a Oh no, I don't. I don't know. I uh, in the in the beginning, um, I started out with uh, working as a cabinet maker. Sure. Um, Fusta. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. For yeah. stuff. And um, yeah, <laughs> then uh, pizza delivery, okay. <laughs> uh, web design. Two years self-employed. Then um, I had two tattoo studios in in Germany. All so kinds of like places. Like yeah. In the last like years, ten, like ten now, years ago, ago I started like living these things more out and expressing myself more. Okay. So, uh, have you studied any degrees or not at any public university okay. or something? I am studying many things all yourself? over the day, but by myself. When did you finish your studies? I did my American high school diploma in 1992. I was there for a year mm -hmm. as an exchange student. And I finished my school there in okay. 1992. What, your, uh, how old were you in 1992? Uh, how old? How old? Oh, uh, uh, 18. 18. I'm from 74. Yeah. Okay. What about uh, your family? Do you have any family? I have family. They live most basically. My my sisters and brothers live in Germany, and my parents live in Germany as well. But most of the time, they are especially my mother. She's in Greece. Do you have a relationship with them? We have a relationship, but in the last years, we don't talk very much because. Our worlds are colliding, mm -hmm. and this is not really necessary. This would lead to tension, and so I have, I have my way. They have, but we are even. We are. We talk to when when there is something. I I can call them up. There's no problem. So, and when I would go there, I would always have a place to sleep. We just don't share too many interests right now. <laughs> you know, my parents watch TV at, at night and there's something I don't care for. Mm -hmm. So I talk about different stuff and then it's a little different. Mm -hmm. So we don't do that anymore. Okay. But this will come back, I'm sure. Okay. Um, ten, ten years ago, when you had the psychological problems, you were living by yourself or you were in Germany? I was living in Germany at the end of my second marriage which ended in the sanatory when I was in, in the stationary 
treatment and then uh, how many times do you have been in a yeah, hospital actually one time but this was split up I was like eight weeks in, on a stationary and I was three months out but when they let me out they said in three months you come back for the uh, there's an, we just go there over days okay. You know? So I think they wanted to have me for three months there, and after three weeks, they let me go because they said, well, uh, you kind of understood what your problem was, right? And I said, yeah, I know what my problem was. And so I made room for another patient because I was started to be a therapist, and this was not really what they needed. And the diagnose was... Uh the diagnose that I had there after two minutes talking to a, <laughs> to a, to a colleague, to a doctor, was borderline, hmm. which... Behavior. Yeah, now they say, no, I understand behavior now. Ten years ago, it was personality disorder. Yeah. And I found out that it's not... I found out that it's because I was I was I had this stamp on my head and I said, Well this is unhealable and I said, Well this is not possible and I don't have anything else to do right now but finding out the problem. The problem is when you this all comes up, all these symptoms of borderline come up when you live other people's lives. When you don't when you ignore yourself become smaller and smaller, you, get, you really get burned out, you know, and that's all. So I started to, to behave in a different way, and I did actually have eight of these diagnostic points. But after half a year, there was none left, at least in a way that I could deal it without any medications. And today, 10 years, and I was writing there in, in forums, that, hey, I found out this is not a personality disorder. Check this out for yourself. Observe this. I might be wrong, but observe it. But after a couple of years, I found out it's not called a personality disorder anymore because in these forums, yes, they found out... Changed. Yeah, he was right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, let's talk about drugs. Have you ever... Marijuana. Marijuana. But drugs... Actually, uh, not really. I, I don't take. I don't take any drugs. Marijuana was for me my medication because they gave me Truxal and Risperdal, mm -hmm. and it both made me go like this. And I, and they told me they gave it to me to cut down the ups and downs. And I said, well, I know something that works much better. And I had my experience with too much marijuana, which is like smoking and then not being able to go like this too. And I said, well, I know how to avoid that. So I found my days of smoking that much marijuana that I was calm enough to do the things that I wanted to do. Before and then not uh, be, not being able to do what I wanted before and do because of this. So this was my medication. Let's say that in the last ten years you have been controlling yourself yeah. with, with that. that I, with this health. Yeah, it would help. Yeah. Okay. What is no use for me if it was not ha not helping? Then it wouldn't be mm -hmm. senseless. <laughs> that would be senseless. How many cigarettes do you smoke today? Cigarettes or well, joints? Uh, what joints, joints I mean. Because cigarettes I smoke too, yeah, but uh, maybe no, five no, no. or ten. But joints, uh, sometimes none, mm -hmm. depending if there is some, if there's nothing to smoke there, I don't have a problem with that either. I can still, by now at least, uh, keep calm without marijuana. And then, yeah, it's sometimes when I am in Calavarcus and I have some dope with me, then it might be 10 joints a day. I don't know. You know, you know how it goes. I, don't know. I mean, we're in Mallorca here. There's <laughs> nothing. Right? But since, since I am here on Mallorca, I did not spend 10 euros on my job. It 
that is any help. Eight euros maybe. Eight euros I spend for getting some marijuana. Eight euros only once? Only once. Only once. <laughs> in, in over 12 months. <laughs> but we, <laughs> Mallorca likes me. <laughs> I have many friends here. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what it is like. Are you still living in Calvacas? No, no I, I would like to go there again. I didn't go there for over the summer because it was too full and too crowded because the Mallorca magazine made it one of the six most beautiful beaches of Mallorca and then everyone was going there, messing it up, shitting in it and then it was not really Calvacas anymore. Mm. But that helps. Let them be there and shit it make for two or three more years and then the tourists are not then, then this won't be uh, any six most beautiful beach <laughs> anymore. You know? Yeah. Yeah, but it's the, the problem is is because there's an there's an ownership um, changing. There's Calavarcus has been sold this year. But the new owner has cancer and is in the hospital all the time so they couldn't make the the papers so it's still nothing really changed yet and there are still the three old owners they want to get rid of it because Madrid said there needs to be uh, a driveway down so and this is what uh, I don't know this messes it up I think oh you get it back In the Calawak, this is a nice place. That's actually what made me stay here. I wanted to come here for three months just to check it out because I never was on Mallorca before. And I came here with the car. So, uh, and then after a month I was in Calawak <laughs> and then I said, no, I'm not going to go back. I'm going to stay at least for one more year. I want to see this in, in cycle in year. And then, yeah, I found out in winter time, Mallorca is even more beautiful. not get anything from from the state or something uh, since 2009 not anymore nothing I'm, I'm out of this I'm not one cent I don't want one cent of this although I pay my taxes when I get gasoline and buy stuff but um, like this I don't have a bank account you which means no which means I cannot collect bigger amounts of money so whenever I need something I go to Facebook and hey need someone need a tattoo I need 100 euros can you make a deal okay. so and then there's I take the money and give it away and the taxes have been paid there have been paid there and then um, it's uh, yeah last week because of all of this here and I was a little exaggerated um, and I needed a new computer, I asked my friends for help. As if, if we all put together, then I can get a new computer, and yeah, this worked also. Uh, but this is for friends, yeah, exactly. This for, you know, so I can continue my work, and if, 
it's worth for you give me some ten dollars or 20, 20, uh, 20 euros or something and so we collected some money in a week in a week and I had the computer so this is how I can ask if I really need help and this is this is what um, what the network is working like when I have any kind of problem I just have to ask and we solve it This, uh, yeah, but I think this is not even really the case. The problem is that um, with these matriculas and the, the cop, the Tolomoy, uh, uh, Agente 14010, uh, who is not working anymore, <laughs> who is now working at the desk, not on the streets anymore, but he... Um, had a problem with, with this because I didn't have what I didn't see and there it is. They're exactly there. My my um, paper that states that I am secured and I didn't find it because I forgot that I put it there. So I couldn't show him. And it was in German as well so you wouldn't even understood it. But I if I, I could have translated it, but I, I just I had it always there in front of me and I forgot all about it so but this is I am not driving without an insurance mm -hmm. I am driving without a classical form of insurance but I have found something much better which is able to to help much faster okay. now, three days ago I talked to a man who since 17 years is standing in front of court with his insurance company and shit like that, and, and stuff like that. I don't, know. I don't need it. We do this a lot, and we can prove this as well now. So maybe this old case is good for all that. Yeah, for for me, at, at first, there's no problem at all. I mean, I think you're fine. The thing is that the fiscal. I don't know how do you say that. Yeah, that's you know. This is this is coming back to your first question. Why am I here? Yeah. I can tell you why I am here. When Tolomoy took my car and a f on a Friday, I went back on Friday night and said, hey, you cannot take my car away because I have like four kilometers away from here. I have a friend with a thing and I can put the car there because the car is not just a car, it's also my home. It's my bed. I have all my personal stuff in there. Mm -hmm. And he said, and he could have, could have just drive me there with, with, with the police uh, car, you know, and with the, car, with the van that I could put it there and still, and I would have had my home. And he decided not to do so. And then I said, well, then I have to prosecute you. Then I have to put a denunciation against you. If you choose to do that. Because then you break the law. And over the weekend, he must have done some homework because when I came back on Monday to put the denuncia against him, he went like this, started out filling the form of denuncia against me and put something in it that he must have found on the internet, especially with, he put a German, he put a, ger in German, he put the reason for my arrest there. And I found the exact terminology again because it was angeblich that says supposingly, supposingly falsification of documents. And that he must have from here. Yeah, there's, I know where that comes from. Three years ago, I had, when I got this car, these were the first matriculas that I put on there in Germany. And everything went well, but I have, you know, when you do this, this um, public work nowadays on the internet, you have these so-called trolls, you have these haters, you have these people that sometimes even get paid to, you know, crush you. And he called the police, one of those guys, in Germany, in Berlin, and said, that guy is false in documents. That's where it comes from. Then the police came to me and I could prove, no, I'm not, I'm not faking any documents. So I got a letter from the police. 
and I wrote back one letter, and then I never heard anything else about that anymore. But that Tolomoy didn't know. So he took this expression, which already in the internet was proven wrong, mm -hmm. put it on my arrest sheet to avoid that I can put the denuncia on him. Okay. So this is why I, and the reason, this is a completely different we, reason why he took the car away from me. He took the car away from me because I couldn't show my papers. And eventually was driving without an insurance. Mm -hmm. I still have the papers where it says uh, 1,500 euros fee against me if it is proven that I am driving without an insurance card, which means if, if, if I cannot in one week or two prove that I am insured. So, but I couldn't do anything about that anymore because this vanished. This vanished from the whole case. The case now is going on this. So, and I'm not really the one who is crazy here. This guy, he put, he put bills on the car of his mother, Tolomoy. Yeah. In fact, it's already proven that he's local. Because he's not working at the streets anymore now, because of this case. So, in fact, it's all... Okay. I don't know if you have seen this, but this is part of the story. And in here, I don't know if anyone has seen this here, this is my denunciation. This is the text that I put to it. But you should add everything. Do you have a lawyer? I have my, I have the, the lady that was here, she was like given to me, but uh, right, actually, she's very nice, she was very kind uh, before and helped me to, to get uh, acknowledged here, but um, actually she didn't do anything for me. And after a month, I said, hey, can you call the, 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 the judge and ask when can I get my home back? Because since that is, uh, until it's proven that I broke a law, which you cannot find, and I didn't break a law, there is no body here, there's no body of, uh, there's no, uh, I, didn't, I didn't harm anyone, no. I didn't do anything, mm -hmm. there's no, <laughs> I mean, no I damage. Understand, I understand you, but, uh, yeah, I understand you, you. need it's a lawyer in order to defend uh, your case, because you have the things you can prove. Yeah, but I am the only one who can really stand, really say what, and that's the problem. The lawyer doesn't understand what I'm doing here, so no, I have to do now, that. Now, as soon as the translator came, you are going to have an interview with someone in court. Try to explain everything to them. I have the choice, I have the chance to talk to the judge. No, Today. not the judge. No. But not to the one, judge. One, one. The one who's not the judge, but one that is going to explain the judge what you're going to explain the person. Okay. Someone who works with the judge. So there are okay. six people in there, and they're going to talk with one of them. Oh, okay. okay. Well, just to, to make this short and tell you, yeah, I am capable of taking any responsibility for myself. That's what it's all about. That's what makes me a Terranian. So, for me, it's okay. It's done. I'm finished. For me, too. So, Thank you. <laughs> that's all. If you want, you can. Do you, do you wrote things down? Can I get a print of this? No, because it's for the judge. I yeah, mean, but it's what? my... Yes, I know. But let's say that um, I'm, doing, I'm, not, um, I'm doing this because the, not the judge, the fiscal asked me to do that. And I have to answer only uh, the judge. I was writing my form. My form is going to be in here, so you will be able to see the form. But uh, only if, if you if you can. It see won't this. be a help for me to see it. I need someone who translates it to me. And if you put something about me, I have the right to see it yes, and read course, it and understand it and have it with me. It's in here. I mean, it's... Uh, yeah, but I don't get this map, right? No. You can.
but uh, if not you, your lawyer. And you can look at here, you can t take copies of everything in here, <coughs> and you'll be able to do things. <coughs> but in kind of form, well, I do have a lawyer. I have a lawyer. She is here. Is the lady that is? Yeah, she's not here for me today, but she, that's the lady. You can ask the lawyer. Okay. And copies of everything here. Yeah. Please. Okay. No problem. Okay. okay that would okay. be cool. So, uh, George, George is George. Whatever. I prefer Bauchi, but you know. Okay, it's finished. Okay. Now, if you can, you can wait outside for the translator. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.